After five sea days traveling across the Atlantic from Funchal, we finally make it to Bridgetown, Barbados. Instead of a ship excursion, we decided to simply explore the city on our own. This is the first time we've been off the ship in five days and what perfect weather we're having here in Barbados. All right, so we are in Bridgetown, Barbados. Uh, uh, here's a cool thing. It was uh, established in the 1680s by the British. Uh, there wasn't any inhabitants at this time, but the British uh, so, uh, soon uh, changed that. Um, it actually is uh, now uh, its own country. In uh, 1966, Barbados got its independence from Great Britain. What is really kind of cool about that is this is a new country for both Tracy and I. Another kind of fun fact is this is the only place outside of the current United States that George Washington actually ever visited. Behind me is the Barbados Parliament. It was set up in 1639 and is the third oldest um, in the Americas. So the first being the Virginia uh, Parliament and then Bermuda. And in the Commonwealth of States, it's behind England and Bermuda. All right, so right behind me is what we uh, call is the George Washington House. As a 19-year-old, we know that George Washington came here in 1751 with his older brother, Lawrence. Um, and a lot of historians will argue that it was actually about the year that George Washington stayed here, here at this home that really made him into having the opportunities and the skills that would allow him to become the military officer and the president that we know of him as today. When you go to the Washington House, make sure you check out the tunnels which were installed for both drainage and to provide an escape route in case of an attack. Okay, so we're about 300 meters from the Washington House, and this is actually uh, the garrison uh, headquarters at one point. Uh, it once be uh, known as St. Anne's Garrison. Uh, what's important is, is this was built, I think, in like 1705, and then it expanded out into the Bridgetown Fortress, which for the British was uh, the most powerful fortress, largest fortress uh, in the entire region. Uh, very uh, interesting. It's also one of the best uh, uh, the examples of a, a British garrison in anywhere in the world between the 18th and 17th centuries. Uh, what is very, also very cool is that uh, in 2011, it actually was in this entire region, was declared as part of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, so uh, what a wonderful day. Uh, we actually had quite a bit of rain here, just kind of pull it down. So we're doing this back on the Embassy Poesia. What a great time we had in Bridgetown. Uh, we'll be coming back here, but tomorrow we are going to? Kingston. We're going to Kingston. So do us a favor, go on a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, keep on traveling. Is the Barbados Parliament. It was founded in 1639 and is the third lar oldest in the Commonwealth. So this one is the oldest, third large. Behind me is the third oldest. Bleh. Behind